what is a laser diode driver? In the most ideal form, it is a constant current source, linear, noiseless, and accurate, that delivers exactly the current to the laser diode needed for a particular application. The user chooses whether to keep laser diode or photodiode current constant and at what level. Then the control system drives current safely to the laser diode. Sometimes a monitor photodiode is integrated into the laser diode package. It provides a current proportional to the output laser diode optical power. Current is measured through the laser diode or photodiode and translated into a voltage. IMON represents the current through the laser diode. PMON represents the current through the photodiode. Photodiode current and laser diode output power are related by a transfer function given in each laser diode data sheet. Current flows through the laser diode as regulated by the adjustable current source. This is the section where the user wires the laser diode and or photodiode into the circuit either between supply V and the current source as shown or between the current source and ground. User inputs to the control system include the limit set point or maximum laser diode current allowed, the operating set point, and whether the control variable is laser diode current or photodiode current. Additionally, if a remote set point is required, an analog modulation input is usually available. One way to damage a laser diode is to drive too much current through it. Each laser diode data sheet will specify a maximum operating current. Exceeding this current will damage the laser diode. To avoid this, a limit circuit is included in the laser diode driver. The user determines the maximum setting and the output current is kept from exceeding that level. Some limit circuits cap the current at the max level and keep operating. An active current limit circuit will disable the laser diode driver current. Since set point is application specific, it must be adjustable by the user. Typically, laser diode drivers integrate an adjustment mechanism, such as a trim pot. This is an analog voltage into the system. An analog signal, for example a sine wave, triangle wave, or square wave, can be input to the laser diode driver. This voltage signal is related to the actual current or power output by a transfer function. Summing amplifiers are used to measure the difference between set point and actual current, or to sum the onboard set point with an external analog modulation signal. The system compares the actual current level to the set point current level. These two voltages are subtracted and the result is called the error. The control function converts the error signal into a control signal. It is not the same for constant power or constant current mode. If laser diode current is used as feedback, the control system will use the error signal from the laser diode current to keep the output of the adjustable current source constant. This is called constant current mode. If photodiode current is used as feedback, the control system will try to keep the photodiode current, and by extension laser diode optical power, constant. The output of the adjustable current source will vary to keep the optical power level constant. This is called constant power mode. Safety features vary widely between laser diode drivers. Worldwide governmental regulations require a few basic elements for the more powerful laser systems. First, there must be a time delay between application of electrical power and lasing. Second, there must be a way to interlock protective housings or entry doors so that if the housing or door is opened, the laser shuts off. Laser diodes are sensitive to thermal shock, so a slow start circuit is usually integrated. For DC power drivers, an output shutdown when the voltage droops and threatens control integrity is called brownout protection. Another valuable feature can protect the laser diode against ESD shocks or transients from the power supply. Power must be provided to the control electronics and the current source. This can take the form of a DC power supply for an OEM module or an AC input connector and cable for an instrument. In some cases, where higher voltage is required to the laser diode, separate DC power supply inputs may be available to power the control electronics from a low plus 5 volt supply, denoted VDD, and the laser diode from a higher voltage supply, denoted VS. 
Let's discuss some additional laser diode driver specifications. Input impedance is specified for analog voltage inputs such as VSET or mod in. At higher frequencies, the relative value of the impedance of the source and the input pin matter. The voltage of the modulation signal may be reduced if the values are mismatched. The fraction of the signal reflected at the interface is shown. Z mod is the impedance of the input pin and ZS is the source impedance. For a laser diode driver, the noise of the output current is usually given as a single number in microamps RMS. A more correct representation of noise is milliamps per root hertz, or current noise across a given bandwidth. Modulation bandwidth can be specified for a sine wave or square wave. It is typically the frequency at which an input signal is half the size of the original signal. If a square wave is applied at the analog modulation input, the current source will respond within the rise time. When the current source is disabled, the current level through the diode will fall to residual levels within the fall time. Depth of modulation is specified in percentage. 100% depth of modulation means the maximum peak-to-peak -peak signal allowed in the analog modulation input is repeated on the output current without distortion. Depth of modulation decreases as frequency increases. At higher frequencies, the peak-to-peak -peak values will no longer get all the way to the rail. At 90% depth of modulation, a 5-volt peak-to-peak input signal will result in a 4.5-volt peak-to-peak change in IMON. With a linear current source, some of the power delivered by the power supply goes to the laser diode, and some is used in the laser diode driver. The maximum internal power dissipation of a driver is the limit past which thermal damage to internal electronic components is possible. Designing a laser diode system includes choosing the power supply voltage. If a 28 volt supply is chosen to drive a diode that requires 2 volts, 26 volts will be dropped across the laser diode driver. If the driver is running at 1 amp, the internally dissipated power will be 26 watts. If the internal power dissipation specification is 9 watts, the current source components will overheat and fail. Instruments have built-in SOA protection. Compliance voltage is the power supply voltage minus this internal voltage drop across the laser diode driver. It is the maximum voltage that can be delivered to the laser diode. It is typically specified at full current. Ideally, when a laser diode driver is turned off, no current flows through the diode. In practice, power is not turned off, but the laser diode is disabled. The circuitry disables the control system, not the current source. Small amounts of leakage current can still flow through the diode. Wavelength defines three different laser diode photodiode pin configurations. Some laser diode drivers are universal, while others are specific to the wiring of the laser diode. These are clearly identified in each laser diode driver datasheet. There's more information about laser diode drivers, temperature controllers, power supplies, and other electro-optic topics on our website. Consider us an extension of your team.